we redid the place, we sanitized it, repainted, cleaned it up, and had the parking lot redone, and it, you know, just got it all ready to open back up, and then it was a disappointment. I caught up with Flamingo Bar owner Dale Nichols at his home. He's not at his business because the state says he currently can't sell booze. How long do you think you're going to be closed this time? Is that I really don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the governor's got in mind. So every day you can see me here, uh, eight times a day. There's barber chairs around this pool table, and this is where we take our nap in the afternoons. Mike Perry tells Eight on Your Side the state has put his favorite hangout on lockdown. This is where we come. We come here to play pool, talk to Dale, the bark maids. We all, we all were like one big family. You said you don't even drink. I don't drink. I haven't drank for 35 years. The order does not apply to bars that sell food, so a majority of establishments in downtown St. Petersburg can operate normally. And we happen to have lids that work with all these cups. At the bar at 548 downtown, co-owner Stephen Jeffrey has been doing somewhat of a business modification. Since all of the bar business is now takeout, he bought new plastic glasses for the new normal. The key on all of this is flexibility and roll with the punches. And there's no sense in getting totally frustrated or pissed off on something we can't control.